Learning that your child has asthma can leave you with many questions. This video will show you what asthma is, what asthma medications do, and how to recognize and prevent asthma symptoms. Understanding your asthma action plan will help you and your child manage asthma with confidence. Keeping asthma patients well and out of the hospital is everyone's goal. If you have questions after this video, please discuss them with someone from your healthcare team. As we breathe, air flows in and out of our lungs through airways. People with asthma can have problems breathing because the airways become swollen because of inflammation. Mucus plugs the airways and muscles around the airways tighten. When this happens, it's hard to breathe. This is when your child will show asthma symptoms. Your child may feel short of breath or have chest tightness, wheeze, cough, breathe faster than normal, wake up at night with trouble breathing or coughing, have trouble breathing when they run or play, older children may start avoiding sports, or using the blue reliever inhaler more often. Your child may also show signs that they are working harder to breathe. See how she is breathing fast and the skin pulls in between her ribs when she breathes in. There are two types of inhaled medications for asthma, controller medication and reliever medication. Children and adults all over the world take these medicines. They are very safe. Controller inhalers are often red, orange, or brown. They contain a small dose of steroid that treats and prevents the mucus and swelling that makes breathing difficult. Your child should take controller medicine every day. Controller medication takes a few weeks to work. It must be used regularly to prevent an asthma attack. Reliever inhalers are often blue. The reliever medication is only used when needed to relieve asthma symptoms, such as difficulty breathing, wheezing, coughing, or a feeling of chest tightness. The reliever medication works quickly to relax tight airway muscles and make breathing easier right away. Reliever medicine does not stop airway inflammation or prevent asthma attacks. It does not keep asthma under control. Your child must take controller medicine every day to prevent asthma symptoms. Your child's asthma puffers work best if used with a spacer. If your child is under five years old, they will use a spacer with a mask. To give your child their medicine, remove the cap from the puffer. Shake the puffer for 15 seconds, then put the puffer into the spacer. Cover your child's nose and mouth with the mask. Avoid their eyes. Make sure there is a good seal on their face. Press the top of the puffer once. Have your child take six to 10 slow, deep breaths. Watch the valve to check if they are taking a breath. Repeat the whole process again if your action plan tells you to. After your child takes controller medicine, rinse their mouth with water. Children five years or older usually use a spacer with a mouthpiece. To take their medicine, your child will remove the puffer cap, shake the puffer for 15 seconds, put the puffer into the spacer, put the mouthpiece into their mouth and breathe out fully. Press the top of the puffer once and take a deep, slow breath in through their mouth. Hold their breath for 10 seconds. If your child can't hold their breath for 10 seconds, have them take six to 10 slow breaths through their mouth. Repeat the whole process again if their action plan tells them to. They should rinse their mouth with water after taking a controller medicine. If your child finds it difficult to use a mouthpiece spacer, a spacer with a mask can be used instead. It is important to know when to refill your child's controller prescription. Ask your pharmacist or another member of your healthcare team how many doses are in the inhaler. Make a note of when it will run out, either by writing the date on the inhaler or putting a reminder in your calendar. Clean your child's spacer with warm soapy water once a week. 
Let it air dry. Do not use a towel. Make sure the spacer is fully dry before using it again. Triggers are things that can make asthma worse. Colds trigger most asthma in children. You and your child can make sure their lungs are ready when a cold strikes. Follow your asthma action plan and make sure your child takes controller medicine every day. The flu is more dangerous for children with asthma. Make sure you and your child get a flu vaccine each year. There are many other triggers. Talk to your healthcare provider if you notice something that makes asthma symptoms worse. Remember, breathing secondhand smoke is a trigger for asthma. It is also bad for your child's lungs. Ask your healthcare team how to quit smoking now. Your healthcare provider will write an asthma action plan for your child. It's a tool to help control your child's asthma. It also explains when to get help. So when, she's doing well, when asthma is under control, you are in the green zone of the asthma action plan. Your child uses controller medication every day and has no asthma symptoms. In the green zone, your child can run and play without feeling short of breath. They do not wake up at night coughing and they do not need reliever medication more than two times per week. It's common to move from the green zone to the yellow zone because of a cold. The yellow zone means your child is having an asthma flare-up. They may have wheezing, coughing, or shortness of breath, especially at night, or have trouble breathing when running or playing. You should follow the yellow zone of the action plan and use your reliever medication as prescribed. It's important to see your local healthcare provider if the reliever medication is needed every four hours for one day or if asthma symptoms are not improving. The red zone of the asthma action plan is a danger zone. Your child is having an asthma attack. Get help right away. Go to the nearest emergency department if your child has signs of severe shortness of breath. Watch for these signs. Non-stop coughing or wheezing. Skin sucking in between the ribs or at the base of the throat. Trouble walking or talking. Or your child needs to use the blue reliever medication more than every four hours, or if it does not seem to be helping at all. Follow the red zone instructions on your action plan and call 911 or go to the nearest emergency department. Your child may receive a dose of oral steroids to help get the severe airway inflammation under control. After getting help, review your asthma action plan. Make sure you understand your plan and that your child is taking their controller medication properly every day. Knowing about asthma and asthma medications will help you recognize and treat asthma symptoms. Use your child's asthma action plan to remind you what to do. Together with your healthcare team, you and your child can keep asthma symptoms under control.